Hey, Mushroom Nerds, it's Anna McHugh. I'm spending some time with this glorious collection of uh, Chicken of the Woods Mushroom. This is a specific species called Latiparus cincinnatus, and it's commonly called the White Chicken of the Woods Mushroom. It is the most common in my area in uh, the Southern US. I'm in the Raleigh, North Carolina area. You will see other species, especially up in the Appalachian Mountains, but this is a really popular edible mushroom that uh, also is highly recognizable. And so if you are just getting started with foraging, I recommend this is one of the first couple of mushrooms you get to know, but also a cautionary note, it doesn't agree with everybody. So some folks will have uh, allergic sort of anaphylactic type reactions and swelling, sort of like bee sting type of things. And then some folks, it can make them sick to the belly. These are ephem ephemeral effects. So whatever it is that, uh, you know, causes that reaction does seem to dissipate, but I still recommend, uh, as with any wild mushroom, cook it thoroughly, and then additionally only consume a small portion uh, when you are trying it out for the first time, just in case it does not agree with your palate or your guts. All right, so let's talk about identification. This, as I said, is one of the most recognizable species out there, a part of the one of most recognizable genera of mushrooms out there. So Latiparus is a genus of decomposers. You can see that this is growing actually at the base of uh, a old dead uh, shag bark oak. So in the case of this specific species, you'll usually find it growing on the ground, but it is actually a, a, a butt rot fungus. So it is decomposing this uh, dead um, you know, wood and the root system underneath this tree. I've been collecting from under this tree for uh, I think about nine years. And so these can, even though they are a decomposer, they can uh, you know, persistently fruit for many, many years for you. So I love to come back to this particular spot. Actually, a couple times a year it'll um, do its thing. All right, so as you can see, it is a really beautiful sort of uh, peachy orange color. You also have very uh, distinctive sort of concentric growth zones and these really uh, sort of interesting also sort of like uh, streaks and sometimes little wobbly edges. I really like that. And that also is uh, where the, one of the common names, sulfur shelf uh, for the, you know, chicken of the woods that lives up in the mountains primarily uh, has these sort of beautiful waffly edges to it. Underneath it is a porous, a uh, very fine porous undersurface. And as this mushroom matures, it sort of becomes dingy, but it is, uh, you know, uh, part of the uh, group of mushrooms called polypores. And from an edibility perspective, they're, you know, innocuous and very, very few of them are as fleshy or flashy as this mushroom. So let's talk about eating this mushroom, harvesting it. Unfortunately for um, a lot of my encounters with Latiparus cincinnatus, they take on kind of unpleasant uh, sulf sulfurous or a little chemically uh, taste and aroma and become a little bit stringy as they mature. So often when I find a chicken of the woods of this size, like I'm, I, ha I don't have... If I lift this up and guessed what weight it is, I would be terrible at that. But, you know, often when I find them in this uh, sort of size, they really can be quite tough and not very delicious. But the way you can uh, harvest these little critters is uh, you basically will cut the outer perimeter of the mushroom along the uh, concentric growth zones here. Well, I want to do a thing and show you the thing, but... That's too hard. Okay, so as you can see, I have sort of like cut it off and there, um, the flesh here is a little bit on the stringy side. I am gonna take this home with me because especially the tips here, this sort of, uh, you know, overlapping shelfy material feels nice and tender to me. But, um, you know, you will find that this mushroom, when it's in great condition, tastes so much like poultry. It is not, um, you know, people will talk about things tasting like chicken very routinely, and I think they're being quite frivolous and overstating the case. But uh, Latiparus cincinnatus in particular for me and my palate, when it is in perfect condition, it is delicious and very, very uh, much like chicken. 
but if it is not in that right condition it's like eh, it's a little bit chickeny but it, it has this sort of like weird funky under flavor and so like don't sell yourself short these are glorious mushrooms to find you will find them in the same spot as i say not just a year after year but sometimes a few times a season so if you show up and they're really not in uh, great shape uh, or, you know, are a little too tough to be consumed. Take some photographs. I mean, just look at this thing. These glorious whitish edges uh, just, you know, knock my socks off. Uh, you know, so there are lots of benefits to finding them, regardless of whether or not you can take much of it home. Uh, I do want to also note that with Latiparus cincinnatus, they often form these rosette clusters. And so I was mentioning sulfur shelf that is Latiparus sulfurius. And that is probably the most recognized species by people all over the United States. Uh, and so that one is far more like um, pumpkin bright orange on top. And then underneath, it is a lemony, sulfury yellow. And so that mushroom particularly, you'll see it like fruiting in shelves on the sides of downed logs. And uh, in the case of this uh, Latiparus cincinnatus, it's often growing in these rosettes from the ground as opposed to, you know, shelving. All right, so I want to try actually and see if this little guy behind me is in slightly better shape. So after I turn off the video, I'm going to do um, delicate but unspeakable things to the tips here and see how much I can bring home. I'm hoping to maybe make myself a, a white chicken of the woods pizza. I was really hoping for a chanterelle pizza or even better, a hedgehog mushroom pizza, but uh, the conditions have been very, very dry and very hot, so I will take what I can get. So this is a, a younger specimen, as you can see. And I just popped the whole thing right off of the ground and you can see, oh, and here it is. All right, I was hoping it would do this, but it doesn't always. So when you harvest this mushroom and it is quite fresh, it will start to leak a uh, watery material, watery substance that's a little bit whitish. And uh, you can see that on this sort of muddy base. But I'm going to go a little bit further here and see if other parts of the fruiting body will weep for me. Oh yeah, just a bit. All right, so sometimes when these mushrooms are super fresh, you'll just get a huge amount of that uh, sort of watery material. But oftentimes that's uh, my main signature for like, okay, look, this chicken of the woods is nice and fresh and tender on the inside. Uh, and you know, when it squirts a little bit of juice, oftentimes I'm a little more inclined to bring larger quantities of it home and test it out, see if it tastes as much like chicken as I would like it to. But either way, this sort of like peachy, orangey, zone eight uh, fruiting body with these sort of streaky, overlapping, shelving things, like I just can't get enough of it. And uh, for a long time, I didn't really know what to call this. I was like from the West Coast and I was used to uh, shelving um, Latiparus coniferacola, so that grows on downed and decomposing dug fur and so I was very accustomed to these big shelving units of uh, you know orange and yellow uh, porous undersurface chicken of the woods mushrooms and when I got here I was like they're like that but they're on the ground and they're just like and circle and uh, when I finally got down to brass tacks on the identification the word rosette uh, being used really has um, it gives me an additional flavor of enjoyment from seeing them especially when they are in this sort of beautiful contorted and bright yellow peach appearance anyway I hope you find some of these I hope you enjoy them uh, and I hope also if you find them and they're not that tasty you just leave them behind and try again next time there's no um, ambiguity whatsoever. It's not one of those, like, it tastes enough like chicken that I'm going to bear with this. It will either taste like chicken and be delicious for you, or be like, mm, slightly chickeny, but a little more something else that you just don't need to bother eating.